In Adam Smith's famous book, The Wealth of Nations, we find the following assumption, and I quote, basic institutions that protect the liberty of individuals to pursue their own economic interest result in greater prosperity for the larger society, end of quote. The index our estimated colleagues will present uh, to you today, and to all of us today, uh, is based on this assumption. Let us define it uh, how we actually look at the index. It's the highest form of economic freedom which should provide an absolute right to property ownership, full freedom of movement for labor, capital and goods, and an absolute absence of coercion or constraint of economic activity beyond that which is necessary for the protection and maintenance of liberty itself. And we have a vision at the Heritage Foundation. Our vision is to build an America where freedom, opportunity, prosperity, and civil society flourish. In your own countries, you perhaps think of the reason governments are organized in your own countries for similar reasons. And why we cannot get back to a government that's only interested in securing the blessings of liberty and protecting our nation from enemies and foes without and within. Today, the Heritage Foundation champions this Constitution and this Declaration, all of the work that we do. And as we think about our neighbors uh, across the pond, across the Atlantic, uh, we look to identify those who are allies of ours in these kinds of views, this kind of a soaring vision, this kind of a limited government perspective. <laughs>